Hey everyone, this is Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today we're going to talk about the impact bag and the benefits of using this. It's one of my favorite training devices that I've used for over 20 years. Almost everyone can benefit from this training aid because it works on the impact position, which is the most important position there is in the golf swing. So I'm going to give you some tips, ideas of how to use this, some drills that you can apply if you get this bag. Also, I'm going to talk about the mental, the mental side of this bag, which is very, very beneficial. I have been able to use this bag to help people overcome the fear of hitting the golf ball. So we'll talk about that as well. All right, I'm going to dive into this. The first drill I like to do is just have someone hit it at 50% speed uh, and feel the positions and hold it at impact. So it would look something like this. Okay, and I'll have the person hold this position, and you can notice how my hands are ahead, the left arm's straight, my hands are ahead of the club face, my weight is heavy into the outside part of the left heel, about 80% of my weight's on that foot, outside part of the left heel. And that's how I'll do that. Then I'll hit a couple balls, or I'll have my student hit a couple balls, trying to feel the, couple, the same thing that they just did there. maybe a little bit harder but I felt the same type motion that I hit going into the back so another drill that we can use that I like to do with people with this is I use my ride and I put this down here and we'll say this is straight that's where we're gonna line up the club face we're gonna have another one here and we're gonna work on inside out because a lot of people I train and I know it's a common problem in the golf world people come over the top. So I'm gonna put one here that's going about seven to one o'clock. So I'm gonna have them swing. I'm gonna come down, visualize swinging at that path there. Okay, and all we're trying to do is just get our body to feel what we're wanting to do in the swing. And the bag just gives you that feeling because you're not going through, you're just feeling what it feels to hit something at impact, which is a solid object. Okay, this is a great drill to very, very visual. Okay, the other one for people that slice the ball, that chronically, habitually slice the ball to the right, I'll have them do this drill, which works on releasing the club head with still keeping the hands ahead of impact with the back. And it's gonna be something like this. Get up here to the top, and when we come down, I actually will take the right hand off and then rotate the left hand where you can see the toe of the club goes into the back. Okay, then I'll have someone hit it, I'll put it on a tee, and we'll do the same thing and just have them hit like that at a half speed. And what will generally happen is the ball will go left, it will hook. But for someone who has sliced the ball their whole life and has never through the ball it is a very welcome sight so it's a great drill to work on just getting the proper release with the left arm the rotation the club head turning over on the correct path with the inside out move okay so like I said before the mental part of the thing which I find this fascinating is most people try to lift the golf ball and that's just the most common error we see as golf instructors is we get this little white ball and we think we got to help it and lift it to get it in the air. It's the thing I fight every day when I'm giving instructions. That's why I love this impact bag because it helps people to get out of that. So the ball, everybody's want to do that. Now the mental side of, I use the chopping the tree analogy. If you took an ax and you hit a tree, because the tree is very solid, you would always make this athletic movement of going into it. Same thing with this bag because it's solid. If I hit a bag, boom, I'm not worried about result. So I'm just hitting the bag because it's a solid object. I'm making an athletic move with my weight shifting. There's a different mentality to hitting something solid. So we need to trick ourselves into thinking that that ball is a solid object. Okay, I take it to extreme with that and I do a little faster than I should. I need to work on my tempo with it. But 
if you can get yourself to do a drill like this where you hit a wedge, sand wedge, 50 yards, and you just boom right there, feel like you're hitting that bag. Boom, and I hit that probably about 120 yards with this eight iron. I would usually do it with a pitching wedge or sand wedge, but I tried to imagine I was hitting a solid object. That motion is so different for most people. Just to think that way is a whole different idea from, for everybody. So I challenge you to use the bag, think about the bag, how it would be, and then try to trick yourself into hitting it like the bag. So last one, I think this is pretty funny. Uh, I've used this and so much instruction. And if I can trick someone into this, it's, it's just like magic, which is getting someone out to lift it at impact is a phenomenal occurrence. So sometimes it doesn't work when using this bag and then trying to hit on the ball, they still want to lift the ball. So I'll have people hit the ball into the bag and, and they'll make the same movement as hitting the bag. So then what I'll do is I'll get down, I'll have them still hit, and I'll, I'll tell them I'm working on the ball position. I just need to get down here and check this. And I'll get down at the right last second before they hit the ball, I'll move the, I'll move the bag. And if it doesn't mess them up visually when I do that, a lot of times they will hit the best golf shot they have ever hit because they were trying to hit that solid object. And that's a, that's a wow moment, moment for them because they, it's a different impact position because they weren't trying to lift it. They weren't worried about result. All they were trying to do was hit that solid object. So it is a, a matter of really tricking yourself to do this, but it can be a lot of fun. I enjoy doing this. Uh, the students enjoy doing this. It's very fun to, to hit a golf ball this way. So I challenge you to try the impact bag. The one I use is the Gary Wiren impact bag because it is uh, very durable. It will stand the test of time. I used it for over 10 years when I used to teach at Windermere Golf Center and that was thousands and thousands of lessons and I've had a few others since then and they just did not last. So I recommend this, I highly recommend this bag. It's a great teaching aid. For more information, visit my barnhillgolf.com for other interesting vlogs and blogs.